Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I have a parcel that has just arrived. I have opened it to have a quick peek to see what it was and it is some new storage. I am getting so many canvases at the moment that I am needing some new, well, kitting up storage, drill storage. So yeah, it's certainly come very well wrapped. It's coming like a plastic boot and a bag and now we've got bubble wrap inside as well. So let's get into it and have a look uh, i can't remember the details of it actually it's come from a uh, shop on aliexpress i will leave the link to the details down below and it's taken about four weeks to come it has been quite a while for this one to come but yeah it's a new type of storage for me okay so we have little individual boxes look at those big dinky little doodahs they're like uh, a little square but not quite square and they just oops open up she says hopefully very easy to open let me have a look oh i see they've got a little ah right okay oh no let me try the next one well, that one's open anyway Ooh. so they've got a little clasp there that you can see and that closes down and then I think you've got to sort of press no just pull that up oh that's not good for the nails okay try another one try that first one again so Hmm, okay, so I'm not overly impressed with how these open. I'm having to get my nail underneath that little ledge there to pull these open. So that's not going to be very good. I was hoping that these would be better than this. But if you've got drills in here and you're struggling to open them, that's not going to work very well, is it? Is it me not doing it properly? No, you've definitely got to give it... I mean, it's good that if you've got the drills in them um, and you're wanting to keep them secure. But yeah, you've got to so push right underneath. I don't know if you can see that ledge there. Just that little sort of, a bit like a peak cap, just along here. Uh, yeah, you can see that there. You've got to push there to get them open. Ooh, that's not good. So let's see. So yeah, you've got to give it quite a bit of uh, welly, as it were, <laughs> to open these. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I suppose they'll get easier as you go along. But that is very, very stiff. Let's see if you've got a lot of gems in there. And I'm clumsy and with the best will in the world, I, I'm pretty good at throwing things around. So, yeah, okay, so what would have got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30, 35. So it's 35 little container storage and you've got your little stickers, which actually are quite good because they match the size. Um, I did think that these were square ones, but obviously they've come like this and they're in a nice little container. So anything that you've got that's a smaller painting, that these are so open look that um anything that comes that's a smaller <laughs> a 
smaller painting. Yeah, they are quite uh, hard to open. So anything that you've got that's come that's a little bit smaller painting to do um, and has more than 30 colours so you don't want to use your storage bottles, you could use these. But yeah, that's a little bit uh, scary. As I say, they do take quite a bit of opening. Right, so let's give them a quick measure and see how big we are. Oops, <laughs> fingers and thumbs today. So height wise, they are one and a quarter inches, which is just about three centimeters. Um, width wise, they are again the same. So one and a quarter inches, which is three centimetres. And the width that way is two centimetres, which is three quarters of an inch. So they are quite small. Um, and so I was thinking, God, blimey, that is uh, really takes some opening up. I was thinking there would be like the square ones that I've seen um, that are like, well, about an inch square. Okay, these are something different to try. I'm just wondering how stable they are. Oh, not bad. Not too bad, I suppose, once you've got something in them. Let's see how much they hold. And grab a tray. So, yeah, these are the little 200 packets. Um, this is from a canvas that I'm probably never going to do because uh, it came quite... Well, it was double-sided tape. It was a large canvas and it wasn't uh, in brilliant condition. I did get a refund on it. Um, so I just barely use the drills now for uh, seeing how much things hold. But they look really small, 200 bags, don't they? <laughs> okay, let's have a look. So, pop those in there. So that's 200. Oh, they're probably going to hold a little bit more than I was expecting then. Because I thought that they weren't very big, but actually we may get more in than I thought. And that's 400. Oops. Got one stuck in the bottom there as well. Let's get them all in. So, not that I'm counting them individually, of course. <laughs> Another 200, so I reckon we're going to get 800 to 1,000 drills in, possibly. I can't even see to cut this bag now. Look, this is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, yep, so that's 600. Oh, I think 800's possibly going to be the max. Because if you start then putting more in, particularly with them being difficult to open... Uh, yeah, I think they will get slacker. I think they will get easier to open as time goes on. Um, hopefully they won't be like those, uh, the little 28 storage containers that are all joined together because I find that those lids start popping after a while um, and they end up not being very good to use. So, oh, I don't know That's, I think I've not opened this one properly. Look, struggle, struggle. <laughs> So let, let's live dangerously and put another one in. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oops. Let's see if I can get it open. Okay, oops. So that is... Yeah, that's a... Th <laughs> that's a thousand drills. Um, approximately, as I say, these are supposed to be approximately 200. So, yeah, they've fitted in there quite comfortably, so that's not bad. Again, it will depend on the size of your painting and what you're doing. So, let's just see. And that's what I feared that when you open it, it's just going to go everywhere because it's so difficult to open. Yup, oh dear. That was a definite, I told you so, <laughs> that I'd rather hadn't happened. At least I had the tray underneath to catch them all. So, yeah, um, 
I don't know, I think these are going to be quite difficult to use for diamond painting. I will keep them um, and I may give them a go you know, if I run out of other storage. So let's see if I can open this. Oh gosh. <laughs> I've probably got the wrong one. This is the most tough one to get. The struggle is real, people. <laughs> try and get my nail in there and open them. See, I don't really want to be breaking my nails either. I've already broke... Ah, now then, that's popped. I've already broken enough of my nails today. I've been moving stuff around. Why is it that when you've just got your nails done, that then you just go and break one? Ah. Right, so let's try that again. So just... I suppose you, as I say you could use your tweezers just to get the nail underneath the corner so it is possible to open them so how difficult are they to knock over giving that quite yeah no not to, I mean to be fair I did give that quite a knock uh, but not that many came out did they if you tip it over the floor um yeah yeah they're gonna go but uh, they seem to be pretty okay plastic there get rid of that don't want that in my container and I have got this very full uh, if it didn't have a thousand and if it had just the 800 then I don't think it would spill quite as much but uh, yeah it's definitely a little so and so to open is this one so yeah if you just what I'm doing is just catching my nail on that corner there and it pops open some of them will be easier to open than others that one's a little bit easier to open. So let's try that one. Let's see what that one's like. I never thought I'd be sat here playing with tools. <laughs> Just give it a tap down. I've definitely made it too full, but then if you're going to use them, you want to know the uh, pitfalls as well, don't you? They are nice to look at them. They're a little bit different. So yeah, that one's not quite so full. So let's see. Yeah. Yeah, no, even that has still spilt some out. Not quite so many because it's not quite as stiff to open. Okay. Right. Well, that was a bit of fun. Uh, let me know what storage you use and what you think to these. Um, so I'll put the link down below so you can see which shop they're from. Um, I, don't, I think they were about six or seven pound. They weren't really expensive. Uh, more than the 28 containers though um, and I suppose the handier being separate because you can tip them out separately and for kitting down if you do save your drills it's definitely easier if they're separate I do find that those 28s the middle ones I have trouble tipping them out um, and sometimes as I say when the lids start getting a little bit slack then you can suddenly find that two or three will open at once and you lose some of your drills but yeah it's definitely worth a try not everything's going to work as you want it to and be as you want it to but it's not bad uh, oh let me give you a measurement of the footprint of the outside box as well let's have a look at that just put those in there for a minute i mean this is quite a nice little box you know that fastens quite uh, she says easily Oh no, that, oh, you know, it has, it's fastened, it's fastened easy. So I wish the containers opened as easy as the box does. <laughs> okay, so this is 20, 21 and a half centimetres, which is eight and a half inches by uh, 10 centimetres, which is about four and a quarter inches. By the depth is three and a half centimetres, which is about one, just over one and a half inches. So, yeah, it, it's quite a, a nice little box. I mean, you could even take them all out and just use the box for something else. Um, but, yeah, for diamond painting, I think it's going to be fun if I use this. Uh, maybe you're not uh, as clumsy as I am maybe maybe you're stronger than i am 
love that you've got the best technique at opening them. <laughs> Let me just find a little bag to put these in. Okay. So I'll just. Oh gosh, it's. Oh, there it is. Just opening from the corner seems to work better than trying to open it from the top. So I'll just pop those in there because. I'll keep these with this kit and I know that that is a thousand drill. We'll throw those away. More rubbish. Well, that's uh, been a bit off fun looking at those. Uh, I hope you've uh, enjoyed the video and looking at these. And uh, as I say, let me know what you think. If you can give me a thumbs up, it would be much appreciated. And any comments or questions, as I say, in the comments down below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you want to come back and see what I get up to next and see whether I do use these for any kitty ups, <laughs> if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.